Hey everyone welcome back to the channel. I hope you are doing great. This is the third part of the Cinematic Looks series. If you haven't watched the other two episodes do check them out before watching this. Whatever I will teach you in this video you can use them in your films or video games. So today in this video I will show you how to pre-plan everything for your scene using all the information I have discussed in previous videos. So let's get started. First we are going to plan the mood colors for our scene. In this environment I want the inside of the house atmosphere spooky, and I want to convey that only the outside area is safe. Normally we choose blue colors for outside to simulate that area is cold, and inside area is warm and comfy. But in our case is opposite, so we have to choose the warm color for outside to represent that it's safe outside. Since it's a house in the middle of a street, so it's a good opportunity for us to add the street lights and warm color. And for inside we have only one light source that we will use as a cold green color like in the ring movie. So in short we need to make inside area not safe, associated with cold color, and outside area safe associated with warm color. That's it for pre-planning for our scene. Now only thing left is lighted using the same techniques that we have learned in the previous video. As you can see in the current version of this, the lights are okay. Representing night with blue color from outside. Shadows are lit up correctly even television light placement is good. It's all looking okay but doesn't have any meaning. So let's make this scene meaningful. As you can see I have already added a post-process volume and turned on the lumen and adjusted the exposure, so we can only focus on lighting. First I am removing all the existing lights and fog. Let's start by adding the rectangle light and adjust it. Since the TV is placed at kind of 45 degree angle, so we just have to add the light to its place without changing its position. These settings are going to vary scene to scene, so don't just depend on one particular amount as shown in this video. I'm removing these because they are distracting and ruining the whole feel we want for outside. Looking much better. Now let's add the street lights that are going to help us and light up the background. Not just background it will help us in so many things like we can show the safe area. It will help us in motivating light and also going to help us in separating the subject from the background. Look how beautifully our subjects got separated from the back wall. All I need to do is create an atmosphere by using fog and add the motivated light.
Rest is up to you how you want to color grade. This is not the end of this series, I will continue adding the other content to this series like cinematic camera movement, composition etc. I want to thank you all for supporting this channel. That's it for today's video, I hope you had fun and learned from it. Also share this free knowledge with everyone. If you haven't subscribed to the channel do it now and never miss an update. I'll see you all in my next video.